Here we have for sale our 2018, December 2018, on a 68 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is the shuttle model. It's the S with the two litre TDI diesel Euro 6 engine producing 102 brake horsepower. And that's accompanied in this van with a five speed manual gearbox. This is the short wheelbase finished in the fantastic indium gray metallic. And what we're gonna do in this video is have a little walk around and show you the spec that you get on a uh, Volkswagen Transporter shuttle S model. Uh, there's also a few things which have clearly been added to this particular example as we can see here as well so we'll talk you through those. We'll also have a really good look at the condition of this particular vehicle, talk to you a little bit about the previous ownership and service history and what we've done to it as well. So starting here then at the rear of the vehicle we can see that being a shuttle this one has got a glazed tailgate. What I mean by that is a tailgate is one door which comes up like so glazed meaning it has got a window and speaking about the windows that's the first thing to note here is that all of the windows in the back of the vehicle so the rear ones and uh, the one actually on the tailgate as well have all been tinted not by us but uh, previously they have all been tinted so you can really see here how much darker they are of course offering privacy to your passengers in the rear this one has got a number of elements color coded that includes the door handles around the vehicle so on the uh, rear boot lid here and also on the sides of the vehicle we've also got color coded uh, bumpers so you've got color coded front bumper color coded rear bumper and also the wing mirrors all color coded in the lovely indium gray first thing then which has been added and that is the rear spoiler and that just really ties in with the rest of the styling which is on the vehicle in terms of condition here then at the rear of this Volkswagen Transporter. Having a really good look here at that tailgate. It looks to be in really good order. I can see a tiny little pin dent just there. Very, very small. You can see that in comparison to the size of my finger. And two tiny little marks just down there as well. But all in all, looking very, very clean and tidy indeed. The rear bumper is also looking very nice. There's a nice bumper protector there on top of the rear bumper as well. I and mean, you can also see that we've got rear parking sensors just there. Opening up the back of the vehicle then, this is the load space that you've got. Of course, being a shuttle, this one has got three rows of seats, but you have got fantastic versatility. So all of these seats can be removed, apart from the front two, obviously, with the quick release system in the floor. So using these tabs just here, you can release that bench seat from the uh, from the floor of the vehicle so you can really have as many seats as you want in here anything from two up to eight so very very versatile indeed in terms of the back then the shuttle is a little bit uh, different from a normal transporter so you've got a full headlining which goes all the way through the vehicle and you've also got these comfort panels on the side as well these then give you little cubby holes like this one which is where your toolkit is located and then on the other side whoops on the other side then you've got things uh, like this little cubby hole there which is all to do with your rear ventilation you have the usual uh, lovely soft touch flooring in the back and you've also got your uh, nice tie down points in there as well condition wise in the back of here the back of these seats are all in very good order it must be said a couple of tiny little marks just here as to be expected because of course you put anything uh, in here this is uh, your boot at the end of the day uh, but looking very very nice inside the rear tailgate that is carpet lined in there as well let's continue to go around the outside of the vehicle then it is just starting to drizzle with rain unfortunately but i will be still be able to show you just how nice and clean this uh, van is so having a look then down the driver side of the vehicle then this is where you can really see how straight this van is so it looks very very tidy Indeed, we've also got the lovely uh, graphite grey Wilfrace alloy wheels. They're 18 inch. And we've got the black sidebars as well, which tie in really nicely, I think, with the indium grey paintwork and the alloy wheels as well. But as I say, down the driver's side, looking very, very clean and tidy indeed. Same with the wing mirror cap there, all looking very nice. There's not really much I can point out to you there in terms of adverse condition twin side loading doors on the shuttle and this is as it gives you access then into these rear seats so slightly different on the shuttle you've actually got three individual seats whereas on a, say a normal transporter you can either have a bench or a two plus a one but it does give you as I say more versatility so you've got the little handle here as you would but we're very used to seeing this on a transporter combi that gives you access into the back so you can do that from both sides 
and then using these tabs here on the seats you can actually fold these seats down flat so if I can just demonstrate that for you pull it on one of those you can fold the seat down flat like so you can also see here you've got the top tether there on the back of the seat that is for a child seat if you have a child seat which needs that and you can see we've got isofix here on the second row of seats and this is where we can have a good look then at that third row as well condition is all very very nice again same with the floor under here it's all in really lovely condition you can see on the on the windows then you've actually got blinds on the windows there so you can see they're in the upward position there so it gives you a bit more uh, privacy so you can see them just there that is how you put those up and down but a very nice feature indeed and one thing I really like is as a in this roof lining so I say you do get a proper headlining which is a nice sort of cloth uh, padded headlining you have got reading lights in the back here which you can turn on or off uh, but as you can see here come on when you open the doors but you've also got as I say the full ventilation in the back here as well so your passengers in the back here can really travel in comfort but the key thing is as I say the versatility you can take any of these individual seats out you can take that bench out if you want to uh, and I say offers lots and lots of options for you looking in the front of the vehicle then opening up the driver's door again a particularly nice example here very nice condition of the step and the floor let me just turn the radio down there I don't think you want to hear Robbie Williams today but very very nice in there looking at the uh, driver's seat as well no excessive wear there to the edge of the driver's seat you've got the twin adjustable armrest one of my absolute favorite things on a transporter you can set these to your desired height and that goes for each side and actually in this one as well because you've got the front captain seat you've got the same uh, options there on the passenger side you have electric windows electric heated mirrors as well and in terms here of condition lovely condition there on the driver's door card on the S model, you don't get the multifunctioning steering wheel, just the normal steering wheel uh, like you can see here. Very nice miles on this example, 26,740 miles. And you can see there it's all idling correctly, no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard. As I mentioned, five-speed manual uh, gearbox to go along with that 102 brake horsepower engine. You have got air conditioning, and you can see here, this is how you can activate the rear ventilation as well. You've got a USB port over on this side. We've got the book pack as well. Got the nice uh, touch screen uh, in the middle which has got an sd card slot and an aux uh, port just there dab radio and of course this is where you can connect your phone via bluetooth as well up on top of the dashboard then bit of extra storage and also a little 12 volt socket just there but as i say what really strikes me inside here is just how lovely and clean the condition is inside the vehicle I say unfortunately the great British weather, it's not treating us well today. It is just starting to drizzle a little bit. But a lovely looking van, it must be said. Side bars, 18 inch wolf race alloy wheels, roof bars as well, that rear spoiler. And then looking at the front of this, where we started the video, uh, that fantastic front quarter on a transporter. So you, this one has got the Sportline style front splitter just there. This one has also had all of the front grills done in gloss black which I think makes a massive difference because uh, you've got these little fins just down here in gloss black as well on the Sportline style front splitter but it looks very very smart indeed in terms of condition here at the front there's obviously very low miles so not many stone chips to speak of here of course you are going to get the odd one here or there but all in all I can see a tiny little one just down here on the very edge gloss black front grille as well but all in all, very, very smart. Finally then, on the outside of the vehicle, looking here down that passenger side of the vehicle. And again, looking very, very straight indeed. No major dents. Having a good look there. Very, very presentable indeed. We'll open up the passenger door then. Have a look inside here. So we actually have with this vehicle evidence of one previous service that was done um, in April, I think that was around 22,000 miles, 23,000 miles. Upon arrival with ourselves, we've actually put the vehicle right through our workshop, so we've done a full health check on it. We've replaced the fuel filter because we didn't have record of the fuel filter previously being changed, but we've also crucially done the timing belt and water pump change on it as well. But again, just looking here, fantastic condition inside the vehicle. 
That's a very, very nice example. We actually took this vehicle in path exchanged against a, another uh, transporter. Fantastic returning customer of ours and clearly well looked after. No VAT to pay on this particular example as well. And I say you've got that peace of mind that as a that timer belt and water pump has been done. And there we are, you can flip that one forward. And there we go, there's you've got three different positions there of these second row seats. You can fold them flat, you can have them in the upright position, you can even put that forward like so. So there's a lots and lots of options. And say lovely condition then in the back. And so you can really travel in comfort in this. A great family all round vehicle. Two owners from new and ready to go with us here today. If you'd like to inquire or see the full advert, including the uh, photography, the description, and of course the price of this vehicle, please head over to our website, bridgeendvans.co.uk. That's where you'll find all of that information. We will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign as well. We can arrange finance on all of our vehicles, including this one, very competitive interest rates. We can also take cars or vans in part exchange and we can deliver our vehicles nationwide as well. So just to summarize this particular vehicle for you, it's a December 2018 on a 68 plate, two owner from new, Volkswagen Transporter Shuttle. It's the S model with a two liter TDI Euro 6 engine producing 102 brake horsepower, short wheelbase in the fantastic Indium Grey, a nice selection of added uh, bonus bits on this uh, particular vehicle. So you've got the gloss black uh, front grills here, the Sportline style front splitter, the 18 inch Wolf Race alloy wheels, all in fantastic condition. By the way, I think we actually had these freshly refurbished off another van. Lovely sidebars, roof bars, rear spoiler, rear bumper protector, tinted glass in the rear, and then all of the usual spec then. So things like your rear ventilation, of course, the fantastic versatile eight seats inside, air conditioning, DAB radio, Bluetooth phone prep as well. And I say we do have evidence of a previous service that was earlier in the year and as I say it has been through our workshop for uh, a health check and including the timing belt and water pump replacement as well. Thank you very much for watching.